Did you know the internet can actually increase your word of mouth referrals? Today we're gonna to talk about five different ways that you can use online marketing to actually increase your in-person word of mouth activity. Now, the next form of word of mouth referrals online is the most obvious, online reviews, right? This is really kind of what exploded uh, small business engagement online when reviews started happening, whether you're a restaurant, a mechanic, or a doctor, the fact that now anybody that you do business with, or even sometimes fake people, can just go online and say whatever they want about your business. This has created an entire industry, whether you're Yelp or Google reviews, review tracking, the list goes on and on. So the idea is that your happy patients and clients have a platform now to share their experiences, which other people will read and positively affect their impression of you, and so do the unhappy clients that are having bad experiences. Now, unfortunately for business owners, someone who's unhappy is much more likely to go ahead and leave you a review than someone who is happy. Most people tell you that they're happy by continuing to return to your business and doing business and building a relationship with you and your staff. That's their way of letting you know. But Online reviews are an extremely important part of word of mouth referral in both directions. So let's say that I want to recommend you know, d my dentist, Dr. Esham, to Greg over here, and I tell him how I had a great experience. So Greg pulls out his mobile phone, pulls up Dr. Esham, and sees that he has a 3.5 on Google in his reviews, or a bad score on Yelp. Now, that's not good. That's not good for Dr. Esham. That's not good for me, because now, Greg may be questioning my judgment. Maybe I think he's great, but if everyone else says he's terrible, uh, maybe Proz doesn't really know anything when it comes to referring providers. Or it's a bad look on you know, Dr. Esham, and even if Greg was thinking about going to him because I said so, now he's having doubts about, uh, about using that provider because of what everybody else beyond just me is saying. But same scenario, I recommend it. Greg looks them up, they have over 100 reviews for a 5.0. Now he's confirmed with social proof what he's hearing from me. So, you know, kind of whenever you make a buying decision, you usually need multiple points pushing you in one direction. You hear about it, you see it online, it fits your price points, all of that. We've created two all at once. I vouched for them personally, then he had the social proof. So good reviews or bad reviews can go a long way of even that experience of having a word of mouth referral. Meanwhile, think about the opposite. If I'm considering your business and I see your reviews and they're horrible and I decide not to use your business for that reason, that word of mouth can spread too. Maybe we're talking about where we're going to go for lunch. Uh, Greg suggests you know, the Chicago Fireside Grill and I'm like, oh, I looked them up on Google. They have a 2.0 and there goes that referral. So negative reviews can actually cripple your what could have been a word of mouth referral or real people having a conversation about your business because all it takes is one person in that conversation uncovering really bad reviews and now everybody is soured on the experience and especially in today's day and age short attention spans quick action everything at the touch of our fingertips through our mobile phone we move quickly and anything that slows us down or creates doubt can often stop action altogether and meanwhile there's another solution that presents itself right away. So your online reputation, your reviews are not just a way of creating word of mouth referrals, but they can actually affect the experience of a word of mouth referral and, and create a problem or, you know, or back up what people are saying about you.